Uh, so we talked. Uh, we talk about Billy Napier here, which kind of takes us into the LSU conversation, because when this news broke about USC and and Josh Pate heard this, I actually, I actually read about it over, yeah, over the weekend. Uh, I guess it was Sunday at some point from some guys that I know that are tied in with college football agents, and they explained that. USC may open early, but it won't matter because nobody is going to take that job until they see what happens with LSU because there is a lot of fire around the idea that Coach O could be out after the season, it, mainly because of how they have played after the first two games and if it doesn't improve, which they beat yep. McNeese. They beat them up 34-7, to but you explained it to me the other day. They did not look good in that yep. ball game. If no. If no, things go I, poorly, I, I worry. I worry. I worry that they won't win an SEC game. I, I really worry that this is an Arkansas type season. I, I could. I could see it. I could absolutely see it. And if that is the case, do you think LSU is a better job than USC? Because the way that they talked, it sounded like people, like coaches, that would be interested in USC would be more interested in LSU. So the things that you're going to deal with. Here's the deal. It's, it comes with its own struggles. I don't think it's as good of a job because it's in the SEC. Okay, well, it's just harder if, to win. If it right? was, yes, if we were in the Big Twelve, I think it'd be a better job. Okay, because I think your local talent is more apt to stay home. Like, like is there just as much, if not more, talent at USC than there is in Louisiana? Uh, you know, South South California. Yes, but the problem is is. If, if that shit ain't staying in Southern Cal, then it doesn't matter if you've got God of the talent there. Everybody's coming in and taking them. That, True. There's, there's three great players that have left the state of Louisiana in the last five years. They just, they just don't leave. They're, so you know you've got five-star talent out there yin-yang, and you get to walk out the door and say, I want these guys, and you get those guys. And so I think because recruiting is such a big part of the job, it, when you have something that gives you a leg up on recruiting and it makes it easier, it's just it's just so much. It just makes the job better. Yes. I, I do think a lot of the kids that are in Southern California, I think a lot of them are transplants. I think a lot of them don't necessarily have ties to the area. And in Louisiana, it's different. Everybody grows up playing peewee football, having a tiger on their helmet with the purple and gold, right? Yes. It's it's just a whole different ball game, so it's not as easy to keep that talent in house at USC. Uh, I I was surprised at at that logic of coaches would be uh, more apt to take the LSU job because they know that they will never be be longing for anything at all because they are going to get everything handed to them at LSU. Like that that program right. understands football is it at USC. They have not shown the dedication to the football program uh, over, I mean, what are we talking, 15 years now at least? Yep. It's, it's been a while. So, And on top of that, you know, the Pac-12, one of the one of the lesser P5, you know, conferences, the SEC ain't going nowhere. Uh, we don't know what could happen with the Pac-12, right? That's right. But, the, I mean, the issue is, is you've got to think, I, I'm, I, am, I am hedging my bets that in the next five years, when the playoff contract is up, we're going to 12. Okay. We have to because ESPN pissed off too many of the other conferences to to for them to not open it up for other TV markets to get to get deals. You can't get deals with a four team playoff, so it's gonna it's gonna spread. If it spreads and you're at USC and you can win the Pac-12, you make it to the playoffs. You just know that. You just it's not written in the bylaws. We haven't we haven't decided that. But if you win the Pac-12 you're probably making the playoffs. And that's just so much easier to do than hoping you get in that large bid in the SEC. Because even if four teams from the SEC make it in to the 12, even if we get a third of the teams in, trying to be one of those top four every year is a stone bitch. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.